Okay. From time to time, you need to do some really accurate drilling. Not only do you need to get the drill where, where you want the hole, you need the hole to be the precise depth that you're after. Um, easier, uh, easier said than done. Uh, as you know, the shopsmith has this little, uh, this little stop over here, which is accurate to within a sixteenth of an inch. You can take the, uh, the drill down to the wood, okay, rest it on the wood. Now let's say we wanted to drill a half inch hole. We spin this dial to zero and then back to one half inch and tighten that, tighten that down right there. Okay. Now if I drill a hole here, it should be half an inch deep. Let's see what we get. here, put them on and zero them, and if I measure the depth of this hole, it's, <laughs> it's 506, no, 516, so it's a little deeper than we wanted, but not much, it's, uh, it, that'd probably serve for most, uh, uh, for most of uh, the, uh, things that you need to do. But what happens if you would like to do it uh, to a thousandth of an inch? Uh, Drew and I came up with this uh, quick uh, nifty little jig here. It uh, All it is is three pieces of wood and some magnets and um, it just simply sits right there on on the top of uh, the, the uh, Mark V drill press. Let me take this off and slip this right in place. There we go. Now you want you want to be able when you make this yourself. The plans, by the way, are on the blackboard if you want to uh, uh, download them. What I would I would suggest that you do is is uh, uh, not there's a hole right here in this in this little tab, and not drill this until you do what I'm about to show you here. The uh, the top or the the caliper extend the quill here. The caliper fits in right over this this um, screw. And there's a magnet that holds it in place. Uh, the, the, there are also other magnets that hold it to the um, to the uh, uh, the the back of the the, the uh, cover on the back of the headstock. The cover on the back of the headstock is, is stamped steel, so it is it is magnetic. Of course, we don't have any magnets that will stick to the aluminum down here. Now, um, the uh, the calipers has a depth finder here. Now what I'm going to do is, is when, uh, when Drew made this, he extended the depth finder so it came down and touched the wood right there and that's where he drilled the hole. I would suggest that you do that rather than following the, uh, the uh, measurements that I have given. The measurements are, will be very close, but then if you do it this way it will be much closer. You, in order for maximum accuracy, you want to be able to, to um, for this to be as straight as possible. This won't go back to zero if it isn't if it isn't perfectly straight. Okay, I'm going to bring the depth 
the depth gauge down into the hole and tighten this little thumb screw. This thumb screw sits in a um, uh, brass threaded insert. And then uh, take this back up here. You can see how it, uh, how it works already. The, um, let me put the drill back in place. Now this time, instead of setting the wind here, I'm going to loosen the, uh, the stop collar here so that's not in play. I'm going to bring this down and touch the wood right next to the other hole. And at this point, I'm going to z hit my zero button and zero this out right there. Okay? Now what the, the net, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill and go down past zero to 0 0.500. Zero. Let's see how close we are. You know, I, I, I'm reminded of uh, being at a gas pump watching the numbers turn over as I watch this thing go down. Nice thing about this is that you don't have, you don't have your calipers permanently captured so that if you need them to measure, you can, you can very easily uh, take them off. They just come right out there. And you measure your hole. And, um, whoop, got to, got to re-zero this. I didn't. And there we go, we're at, uh, point five zero zero. One thousandths off what we, what we measured. Pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Um, I would suggest as you're making this, okay, just, uh, just to show you the, the pieces and parts, we used rare earth magnets. Um, the nice thing about rare earth magnets is they have about five pounds of, of, uh, of pull when they're, when they're half an inch by a quarter inch uh, wide. Um, we used four of them, two here and two here. This magnet right here, the top magnet on the arm that, that sticks down, uh, holds it against the Mark V. This magnet here uh, is what holds the, um, the caliper is in place when you when you uh, hook it over the uh, over the screw like this. These uh, the magnets are not hard to find. You can uh, you can go to uh, uh, any hardware store and or uh, craft store and usually find ceramic magnets uh, uh, like this. They uh, uh, these these don't have quite as much pull as the rare earth magnets. But uh, they'll they'll work uh, fine, just the just the same. So, uh, just a short little thing, but uh, but uh, we're proud of it. Mm -hmm.